Now moving on to the peninsular rivers, we have discussed about the Himalayan rivers. Moving to the peninsular rivers, we have the major rivers which are starting from the Western Ghats, moving towards the Eastern Ghats and falling into the Bay of Bengal. We have seen the condition like in the Western Ghats, we have the Western Ghats are elevated and the Eastern Ghats are not much elevated as that of the Eastern Ghats. We have a variation there and it is slightly tilted towards the Eastern side, means it has a bending shape towards the Eastern side. This is one of the major reason why the rivers which are starting from Western Ghats flow towards East and fall into the Bay of Bengal. Except the two rivers that is Narmada and Tapati which are in the upper part nearby to Gujarat, the Satpura region, they flow towards westwards and fall into the Arabian Sea. Now let us see here the major rivers of peninsular India are Krishna, Godavari, Kaveri and the Mahanadi. Krishna, Godavari attributes to be the largest rivers and when compared to them also, Godavari attributes to be the largest place which start its journey at Triambak at Nasik in Maharashtra region, flows towards Andhra and joins towards the Bay of Bengal. Even the Krishna flow starts in Maharashtra, flow towards Andhra and joins into the Bay of Bengal region. Kaveri gets originated in the Karnataka region, flows towards Tamil Nadu borders and then falls into the uh, Bay of Bengal and Mahanadi it starts from the Orissa region and then flows towards the eastward and falls into the Bay of Bengal region. Only the two rivers like Narmada and Tapati flow towards westward and fall into the Arabian Sea.